So you just finished downloading Reaper. And you go into Reaper and you're like, I'm gonna start cooking up some beats. And then you realize that it only has two VSTI samplers in here. The Resampomatic 5000 and the Reascent. But don't worry, cause I'm here. I'm gonna show you 10 VSTs that you can use to get started in Reaper and making beats. Let's go. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Learning Reaper. I am your host, X E L O. And today I'm gonna to show you 10 VSTs that you need to have in Reaper. Get started in making beats. Let's go. I'm gonna start off with this uh, Synchron player. The link will be below to actually download. So they have some free ones in here that I actually downloaded. So I'm going to click on where it has the big band. So I'm going to start with this big band orchestra. So if you click on this a modulation one that has sustain, I believe this is just a regular and this one has velocities. So now I'm going to go down to uh, let's do this first one. And here you have like your articulation. So you could change your articulation and here are the keys for the actual strings. And I have it set up um, on Ripcord. So if you don't have Ripcord, I'm gonna have that link below in the description as well. It is a bonus for this video. I'm gonna use the same Ripcord on all the tracks so that you'll be able to hear it with chords, all right? So if I play the chords. All right, so for this for this player, you actually get different options to change your articulation. So you have shorts, longs, macardos, and you have a different long, regular macardos, fast, swell, and you also have like a swell with macardos. So this is like a real orchestral kind of feel. It even has runs on here. So if you do a run, that's the run that's going up. And that's a run going down. And this is an up and down. Yep, so that's pretty fire. So, so this is very nice for orchestral stuff. So if you do orchestral stuff, this would be a good plugin for you to actually have in your arsenal. All right, so for number two, I have Monster Synth. Uh, this is a, a, actually a free synthesizer. And as you see, you have a whole bunch of different parameters that you can actually change. You even have a glide note. So if you wanted to do like bass glides, you can do that in here as well. You have a distortion, a chorus, delay, and a reverb. And it comes with a whole bunch of different sounds. So there's some basses in here, there's some bells, brass. And I'm playing the chords with ripcord. Like I said, all of the tracks have ripcord on them. So you'll be able to hear the chords playing with the tracks. So you have hits in here, you have leads, mallet, some pads, you have plucks, risers, some strings. Even have some uh, vocal chants. Right, and it has weird sound effects as well. I think this could be good for like video games and making different synthesizers inside of your tracks, giving it a nice layer into your tracks as well. All right, so number three is FL Studio. Yes, I said it. FL Studio used as a VST. They have one where you can just do one channel at a time and actually have it stereoed out. Or you can actually do multiple layered ones if you want to. If you want to see a video of me doing the FL Studio inside of Reaper, let me know in the comment section below. But yeah, basically what you do is hit on this little fruit here and it'll actually bring up FL Studio inside of Reaper. So you'll be able to see it. Uh, you can go and right click and actually replace with whatever FL Studio piece you want to use, let's say we use FL keys.
If you didn't want SL keys, you can change it to whatever one you want to actually have in here. So if you wanted to use flex, you could use flex in here and you will you know, more likely have to download some of the packs for flex from the free section here. I just downloaded 21 and this is the trial version. I didn't sign in to it on purpose. So you can see that it will still work inside of Reaper. The only thing you can't do is save. So once you close this session out, none of these sounds will be exactly how they are. So if you change anything on here, you made something with this and you use and change the filters and the vibrato, you change all this stuff in here, you won't be able to save it. That's the only downfall of the free version. If you have a full version of FL and you have a license for it, you can save it. Uh, it'll save it automatically and save all your presets and settings, however you have it set up. All right, so we're on to number four, which is IOTA Mini. Um, it has a couple of different sounds in here. It's not that many, but it'll get the job done if you're trying to do like some trap beats, anything like that. You can get some bells going. And you have an option to do a cutoff, some reverb on here, the release and attack envelopes as well. And if you go down to the drums, you actually have kits inside here. And these kits are not bad at all whatsoever. Like you can actually tweak them a little bit with the panning and some gain knobs on here. And you can uh, have them on different tracks and actually lay out your kicks and your drum patterns really, really easy with this VST as well. And this is the IOTA MIDI. So number five is gonna be Vital. This is a top-notch synthesizer. You can do so many things in here. Uh, a lot of people have actually used it and made some really great packs for Vital. So Vital is um, a, a really easy way to make a whole bunch of different uh, things happen. You have all these parameters that you can actually change. If you're into sound design, this would definitely be a good VST for you to download. All right, so number six is gonna be Sample Tank. And uh, Sample Tank has a custom shop version that you can download for free. And um, once you're there, you can actually find other IK Media stuff, like the Modo bass, the Modo drums. Uh, it also has like the T-Rex and the Mix Box. All these are free on their from their custom shop. So you can kind of experiment and see how it feels, how it works for you before you even buy anything from them, but you can just use them as you will. All right, so I'm gonna go and open up the piano in here. So this is the Berlin Grand Piano. This is one of the pianos that comes with Sample Tank for free. Very nice piano in Sample Tank for CS. All right, so number seven is gonna be Decent Sampler. And it has a whole bunch of different sounds on the site itself uh, called Piano Book. You can go there and find a whole bunch of free Decent Sampler sounds. It is a free, it is free to download Decent Sampler. It's another sampler that you can actually have in your arsenal. And uh, this is good for like orchestral, doing choirs, uh, pianos, guitars, all those things are available on the site. Really, really simple to use. Each sound comes with its own set of parameters that you want, that you can actually use on here. And I believe this is almost a steal because of all the things that you can get with it. I believe it has like over a hundred and something samples in the library that you can download for free for a decent sampler. Number eight is gonna be Sign Player by Orchestral Tools. They have, you know, a piano, a gearbox, um, some horns, some string ensembles, they have organs, guitars, a felt piano, some drum percussions, a ukulele, jazz flute, electric basses, electric pianos. All these are free, by the way. So I'm just going to go and just do a piano right now. All right, and what's really cool about this as well, you can have a whole bunch of different articulations for your sounds. Um, and make it really simple to do that in here. You can do it by key switches. You can do it by uh, mapping, MIDI mapping, all that is in here. So you can change your settings for the sign player.
really nice sound to the pianos in the sign player for sure. All right, number nine is uh, Oldie But Goodie. A lot of people know about this one, which is Labs. Labs gives you the option to play so many different sounds that they have inside here that you can use uh, at your discretion. I really like the soft piano, so I'll use that one for this demonstration itself. All right, and last but not least, number 10 would be Complete Start. But yeah, there is so many really VSTs inside here and you can get some free ones as well, like this um, Sonic Culture. These are actually uh, free to download. These foundations are actually free as well. And it uh, comes with this play series where you will get the Analog Dreams, uh, this Earth one and the Hybrid Keys. All of those will come with Complete Start for free. All right, so I'll use the, the hybrid keys that comes for free in the, the play series section. All right, and this is what hybrid keys looks like. And you have like an A section and a B section. And that will come with Complete Start. Uh, Complete Start also will come with a whole bunch of effects that you can use and download for free as well. So I believe this is a really, really good package. I would say it's a must have uh, for anybody using any DAW. Uh, and that would be Complete Start. All right, so those are my 10. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. If you do have some more that you wanted to let other people know that are out there for free, please put them below in the comment section so others can actually get those VSTs as well. But that's pretty much the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you leave comments below of which ones you actually have already, which ones you didn't know about, which ones you're actually gonna get. And thank you for watching Learning Reaper. Peace. Hey you, yes you. YouTube wants you to watch this video next, man. Go ahead and click it. I'll wait. Nah, I'm just playing. I'm not going to keep waiting here. All right. I will see you in the next video, though. Peace.